fades, held together with tape. Um, and this is Super Mario World Warpless Any Percent Narration Take Two. Um, the original take was, um, well, I had to get rid of it because it, well, simply put, it wouldn't upload to YouTube, so hopefully this will. Um, for whatever reason, um, it just wouldn't narrate, and, um, I, I don't exactly think that was a very good narration. Just me thinking, but yeah. So, narration take two, and um, oh, so conveniently, YouTube lifted that uh, 15 minute time limit. So, um, being as my account has uh, been enabled for that, um, this will be a single segment narration of a 40 minute, 43 second video. Alright. Yeah. I, I'm not exactly how well this will, or sure how well this will go. Um, Last time I did a single segment narration for anything, it was for my Mega Man X run, which didn't turn out very well, because, um, well, I don't know, I finished and encoded the run at one in the morning? Yeah. Narration doesn't work very well when you have to whisper in the microphone because you're sitting at the kitchen computer. Because, quite frankly, at the time, my computer wasn't here. But, I suppose I should talk about the run now. Um, this run follows a custom route that I made myself. Um, following through, uh, like, um, oh yeah, um, I used, burr, blah, blah. um, lunar magic, that's it, um, um, using lunar magic, I platted, er, platted, platted out the, uh, Few, or the uh, route with the fewest amount of levels to go through to uh, complete the game successfully. And uh, this is the end result. I have no idea how many um, exits this goes through. Um, oh, hey, I have the emulator open right now. Um, I suppose I probably could find out. So, I'm gonna do that. But pardon the uh, emulator sounds in the background. Um, I just have SNES 9X going in turbo. So, I'm really sorry for being seemingly unproductive, because I really haven't, um, my, uh, pseudo-unproductivity has mostly been because this run has been stalling all the time on YouTube. Seriously, part one just would not upload. So, yeah. Oh, I might have also figured out that uh, pressing up makes for faster swimming. Wait. 
And I didn't figure that out until the next run, which was the uh, ASM hacked one that I made. Zero! Yeah, um, well, I forgot to save. <laughs> no, I didn't forget to save, I just never did. I'm gonna leave the level counting up to you. Um, yeah, I didn't really count how many exits, I counted how many exits between branches of routes. So, yeah. In regards to uh, the recent branch, um, I decided that it would be faster to go through the water level than the auto scroller level. Um, yeah. So, you know. So, a lot of this is opinion based. I'm sure there's probably some improvements that could be made by, like, forks of equal length, but different level types, like, uh, Donut Secret versus Donut Planes 2, um, you know, negligible stuff, or stuff untested, but... Even though there's a exit halfway through the level, um, yeah, don't quite think that uh, having to go at auto scroller pace is entirely worth it. This is the second castle. Um, gosh, forget whose this is. Um, wonder also if I remembered to uh, give myself the fire flower before the boss fight. I didn't. Slightly slower boss fight. Quarter of the way through the run, almost, in about 20, 50 seconds. Learn to count! So how have you been? Uh, well, I'm the only one here, you can't answer that, never mind. But we are on to Vanilla Dome, where our next branch comes in. Um, I have followed the Vanilla Secret pathway versus the uh, Vanilla Dome level pathway because I believe that is a whole level shorter. Plus Reznor's easy boss fight. <laughs> So, 
Also, vanilla secret. Relatively easy. Also, I managed to scroll the screen enough. run the first time. And I had company over, and I was frustrated at them. But... Bygones are bygones, and, uh... You know, they're not here right now, so... Can't exactly be mad at them. And, yeah. Can't be mad at people for turning up the TV when you start narrating too long, can you? I think much like uh, New Super Mario World, Super Mario World, New Super Mario Brothers DS, um, um, probably a few months back at this point, um, a delicat, if that's how you pronounce it, um, sorry, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but. Um, he made a tool-assisted speedrun of, uh, New Super Mario Brothers, and, um, he had, uh, discovered a faster swimming method by, rather than just single alternating uh, or single turbo button for swimming, which is either just A or just B for turbo. He discovered that alternating the two, so it would be A, B, A, B, A, B, or whatever buttons it is, I don't really remember offhand. But, um, alternating whatever button press it is for jumping in that game, um, would cause Mario to swim up faster. And what is Mario doing? Um. So since he was, or alternating button presses would make him swim faster. I came up with the idea that for swimming, alternating button presses in this game would be faster, which I'm still not sure. Um. I know that for a lot of things, alternating button presses are a lot nicer because, like, if you're turbo cape spinning and you alternate, then it's a lot quieter. Also, you don't get the annoying swimming sound. And my DVR has, uh, stopped, so I'm gonna go start a new one, so I'll be back in a few seconds.
Okay, so back from doing that, and I brought the remote with me. So, in the event that it stops, which it probably won't, um, because it's a. Uh, well, I'm watching Mythbusters, and it's recorded, so. You know, hour long show started 15 minutes into a speed run. Uh, the two aren't likely to finish together. Castle number four. Um, once again, the uh, vanilla secret fork appears to be faster here because um, a justice. No. Uh, all right, Butter Bridge, just two levels. Um, also. The uh, Cheese Bridge and Cookie Mountain. Two levels. However, um, this is still one level faster because there's still one fewer level from the Vanilla Secret route. Vanilla, or not vanilla, Forest of Illusion, I decide that the faster route is clockwise. Ah, crap, I forgot to unload the dishwasher. Um, well, I still hear someone unloading the dishwasher, so once those sounds go away, um, I'm gonna. Assume that it's safe to do that, and I'll go quickly speed run the dishwasher. Yeah. Making stuff up as I go, as I always do. But, I have a new surprise! A new Super Metroid run! Everyone gro- er, Q grown. Um... In recent time period, um, it was discovered that if you press A, B, X, and Y simultaneously while entering Golden Torizo's room in Lower Norfair, um, you get a bunch of items for free. So, um, yeah. I made a speedrun following that route, or what the route would be, which is uh, collect a few energy tanks, fight Kraid, break into Lower Norfair, ABXY in Golden Torizo's room, profit. Um, however, I'd like to note, um, if you go left when you first get into no or Lower Norfair, um, if you go left, then uh, you're gonna have some trouble, because that statue 
does not activate unless you have the space jump. So, that means you have to go around and be a man and do the green gate glitch! Well, maybe not the whole man part. I guess, uh, there are some instances. Um, from what I've heard, Red Scarlet. Yeah. Alright, that better. Oh, I think dishwasher's done. I'll be right back. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he probably didn't miss me. But, well. Well. <laughs> So this way is obviously faster because it cuts out basically all of uh, Chocolate Island. This time I decided running would or down would be faster. Ring, 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 ring. 
Oh, it's that cool coffee bot commercial. Like the Cassimo brew bot. It's cool, I want one. I like coffee. Definitely do not like this castle. Although I think I managed to do a better job navigating it than uh, the 100% run. Alright, we're down to about the, well, yeah. I have a distorted sense of time sometimes. Because for whatever reason, I think numbers higher than five on a clock mean that, oh, there's not very much time left. Ghost These ghosts are hard to navigate, I think it. Alright, made it through the ghost ship. That is the only uh, level and orb in this game, if I remember correctly. Um, back when I was working on my hack, which was probably about two years ago, and never got finished, um, I tried using that more because I like that item. count the uh, fortress and Bowser's castle as level levels. I count those as castle or dungeon levels. Small difference, I uh, normally can't re-enter those. But 
this level is always fun. As a matter of fact, this is the level that I break the game the most in. break the pipe. <laughs> yeah. So, Valley Fortress. This is the level that for the longest time I couldn't seem to figure out how to get to. Um, and then I figured out that the uh, key was there. I, I hate those spikes. But on the bright side, no more resnor. He's staring at us. Watch him stare. Mario is staring. Stop staring! But, this is the last level. So, in about two minutes or so, end of game, which means end of input, which does not mean end of narration, because there's a whole credits. I think this might be a really good Bowser fight. I got the money. <sighs> Gee, I bet you'll never believe this, but Bowser is really easy to fight with uh, save states and slowdown.
the game is complete. Or is it? Thank you, Mario. Your princess is in another castle. <laughs> At least in Super Mario 64, she's in her own castle. Not like Mario has to track too hard there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, if you've successfully watched this run all the way up to this point, um, I would like to congratulate you on uh, seeing Dave Brooks' name. Um. No. I don't congratulate you on that. Um. Congratulations, you have watched Held Together with Tape's first full single segment run that's longer than YouTube's upload limit. Um, so, yeah. Now we get to see the enemy credits. Whoop de doo. There's a lot of off palettes, it seems. You think they sorted these by graphics? <laughs> Because I noticed that uh, some of them, the palettes are a little off. <laughs> and inexplicably, I decided to stand on my own chair. Oh well, that's my death, not yours. Um, so. If you like this run, and you haven't done so already, um, feel free to subscribe. Um, I, in video, I normally don't uh, poke people too much about these, but, you know, it's filler for the credits. What do you expect? Um, I don't really uh, accept friend request or requests. Um, I just give them occasionally, and, uh, yeah, um, also, yeah, there's only about 15 more seconds left in this, so. Um, I'm just gonna leave you be from here, so, see ya, and don't forget to request runs. <laughs>